I literally knew nothing about this story, and uh, which is why I was so surprised to to read it and 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 find out it was real. It's a it's a terrific story, and uh, and more people should know about it. It's really really wonderful what these guys did. James Granger, who I play, um, who's uh, based on a real guy, is, uh, is, a, is a, one of the curators at the Met in New York. And he's restoring a piece of art when we meet him. And, uh, um, and uh, his friend Frank Stokes, played by George Clooney, uh, who works up at the Fogg Museum up at Harvard, uh, it turns up in a, in a uh, military uniform, which is not uh, what Granger would be expecting, and uh, and uh, and and tells him, you know, what he's what he's signing them up to do, basically, and and uh, that's kind of where we start with the story. Is we 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 start to get an idea of, you know, who the Monuments Men are, and they're this kind of this very eclectic group of uh, of guys uh, from from America, from uh, from England, and from and from France. She just has this chameleon-like ability to inhabit other other people uh, in, in a way that's that's somehow more striking and alarming to me as a professional actor than than anybody else I watch. Um, you know, I, she plays a character who's French, and uh, Jean de Jardin is in the movie, and he was watching one of her scenes and says, "She's." She seems French, you know, and so it's when you're playing somebody from another country, uh, speaking at times another language, and then speaking English with the, that accent, and, and you're fooling one of the great actors from that country, um, I think you're operating at a pretty high level. The ensemble's just, you know, it's just, off the charts. I mean, it uh, you know, starting with with George, um, and then we've got um, John Goodman, Bill Murray, uh, Kate Blanchett, um, Jean Dujardin, um, Bob Balaban. Uh, it's just a, it's just a, you know, every day I come to work and it's, it's just scene work with with different fun, you know, people that I really admire and whose work I, I follow carefully. So so that part of it's just been fun. It's one of those jobs where. You know, I said early on, you know, to George, just I, I'm just going to smell the roses because I this this is as good as it gets. It's, you know, when you when you're when you're doing something with a director that you that you have complete faith in, with a script that's great, um, and with a cast that's that's this top notch. It's just, um, you know, it do, it doesn't feel like working. He's one of the best directors working today, without a doubt. Um, and I and and I've worked with a lot of really, really great directors, and um, he is he is belongs right on that list with all those great ones. Um, he really knows what he's doing, and uh, you know. And on top of that, he you know it, it the, you know the set is actually um, you know it's a fun place. You don't have anybody melting down or going crazy. It's actually a really fun environment and. Everybody's relaxed, and he puts everyone in a position to do their best work, and so there's nothing for anybody to be nervous about. So it's a really, it's a really, you know, like I said, it was one of those smell the roses jobs for me because it's a, it's a, a great place to come to work every morning.